church. Our devotional reading is coming from 1 Timothy 3, verses 1 to 7. This is a true saying. If a man desired the office of a bishop, he desired a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, a husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality after teach, not given to wine, no, no, no striker, not greedy or filthy locker, but patient, not brother, not covetous, one that ruled well in his own house, having a student in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Right. Not a novice, lest being lifted up one with pride, he fall unto the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and snare of the devil. God bless the reading here in the word. go to the throne of grace. Oh, gracious and wonderful Father, we thank you for another opportunity just to come and to lift your holy and wonderful name. We thank you for allowing us just to come here to celebrate with our sister church on this 38th pastoral anniversary here at Greater Hope. Father, we're asking you to bless this man of God that you have chosen to lead guide and to teach your people for surely God he's in your vineyard working laboring to bring in on more of the truth about thee so father for those who had a will to be here and could not be we know that you know each and every one of our Amen. desires for those who are on their beds of affliction behind the prison walls those who are grieved this day Father, we need you now more than earth. Father, we need you because truly without you in our life, where would we be? There is some sleeping, Father, and wish that they could have said, have mercy on me. But Father, we're here saying thank you for another day's journey. Thank you for allowing us to go over our hills and mountains and valleys. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to cross that Jordan River. Thank you. Father God, just because of your grace and your mercy. So, Father, as we go on in the service, we're asking you to allow your spirit to come in and have its way. As the songs are being sang and the instruments are playing unto thee, may it be a sweet, sweet sound unto thy ear. And we'll
will be careful to give you all the praise, honor, and the glory, because truly you are God all by yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. pray. Eternal God, our Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the great and wonderful things you've done for us, Lord. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come here today just to serve you one more time. Lord, we thank you for our honorees today. We ask you to touch pastor as when you bring the preach word today. Please give him your strength to preach with power. We ask you to touch us today. Father, you know what we stand in the need of. We love you and we can't do without you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 The choir will come with us.
Come on, if you glad, give the Lord a hand clap of praise this. Come on, we can do a little bit better than that. If you're glad this, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're glad today. We're certainly glad because God has blessed us with a pastor for 38 years. Amen. 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 We give God praise and we give God glory to all of these pastors and all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's just good to be here. Amen. 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 And um, we have to move a little bit further in our program. But I don't see Brother Martin for our welcome. So what I'll do is I'll ask Sister Carla Murphy if you can come and give us our welcome. Amen. 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 Good evening, church. Amen. Giving all praises to God, honor to Pastor Blackburn, Pastor Williams, Pastor Terrell, Reverend Sam, Reverend Eddie, and all of you who are assembled. We say welcome to you, New Zion Eastern Star Memorial Baptist Church. We thank you so much for coming and sharing in this grand celebration, and we're honoring our First Lady as well. God bless you all. further and I just seen him I don't know where he went okay right there all right we'll have a short talk uh, by one who is uh, very integral in our church who has been a blessing uh, to greater hope in many different ways and um, I'll introduce to some and present to others who will give a short talk on what my pastor means to me uh, Deacon Vern Callender come on give him a hand as he comes Giving all praises to God is that of our life. Sounds good. Happy to be in this house one more time. Presence of the Lord. Listen, it's been a long time since I've been up here. <laughs> with, the, with the pandemic and everything. And uh, it was kind of funny how I, how I got this song. <laughs> Yesterday uh, I was uh, asked to do this. And uh, at first, my initial response would be like, no, I, I can't do this, huh? I had no time to prepare, you know? Right. And uh, the person said, uh, what you mean? What you, what you need time for, you know? It's your pastor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need no time to tell him how, and um, I'm <laughs> use some choice words, how the heck you feel about him? He said, yeah. you better get up there. I'm like, <laughs> I'm there. So, and here I am today. and um. And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, she was co completely right, you know. And um, it's funny about this church. This church is about family yeah. and love, you know. And you can't not say nothing bad about this man right here. You know what I'm saying? You know? And I, and I, and I, and I, and I, I concur. So when she said that, I'm like, yeah, okay, you're right. You hundred percent right because I do real. I, I remember one time I was talking amongst friends, and they saying they was getting a little reckless about their pastor. I'm like, ah, that that ain't good, but you know. So then they went on and they they said, and uh, Pastor Blackburn was like, whoa, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was like, listen, you know, you better choose the next couple words kind of correctly because. Uh, you know, you, you might have a problem, you know? And I, and my favorite word is from Sister Audrey, you know, you might get dealt with, you know? <laughs> you know, so, but what he had to say was very positive and, you know, that's the way it went. So, without further ado, I was um, checking out some um, scriptures, you know, my, fa 
my pastor's favorite ones is uh, it was like Ephesians, you know, and he gave some apostles and some. But my man, um, Deacon Jacob, he talked about the teachers yesterday and did a wonderful job doing it. So I'm like, no, 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 we ain't going to do that. So, uh, yeah, you know, a whole bunch of them, you know what I'm saying? So, but now I'm thinking about the next one he like, you know, give, and it shall be given, you know, uh, Luke. No, 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 I ain't going to do that either. So um, the one I ended up choosing was the one that I felt was good for my pastor in this time. And it's, uh, it comes from First Timothy. Three, uh, one to seven, and it talks about if um, you're looking for a pastor, you know. So it reads: uh, This is a true saying. If a man desired the office of bishop, he desired for good works. And then it goes on to tell you what to look for. It's like a checklist, you know what I'm saying? And then. Uh, it goes on to say, a bishop then must be blameless. That's my pastor, check. You know? He said, husband and one wife. Yeah. Check. You know? Vigilant, sober, good behavior. Check, check, and check. You know? That's my man. Given to hospitality. Now, there ain't nobody more hospitable than our pastor. Right now, you know? For the simple fact, if you go anywhere. It, it, this old church could be at a given spot. And, and when that bill come, he mentioned that the other day, I think. It's one bill. You know what I'm saying? He goes, it's hospitable. You know? And it goes on to say, at the seat. Once again, my man, we covered that yesterday. Check. Now, is it not giving the wine, no striker, no grief? Now, this one here, um, no greed, um, not greedy of filthy, lu filthy lucre. My pastor has got to be the most generous person in the world. All right. I, I, he, his, um, his generosity is something, that, and it's just givingness. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even sure if that's a word. Is that a word? <laughs> givingness? <laughs> Well, if it ain't a word, Webster ought to indoctrinate it. Eh, eh, eh. Giving this? Eh. But if it ain't a word, put his picture right in front of it and whatnot, you know, because that's, that's, that's the way it is. The, it's just given nature. He gives locally, he gives nationally, and he gives worldly. And, I'm like, and I see it. I see it done all the time. But the thing that really got me in there was, I don't know if you remember this, Pastor, you know, back in the, I've been here in what, 35 years, 35 of your 38, and uh, I was a newbie. He always said I sat in the back, you know, and then finally he, he brought me up front, you know, <laughs> but uh, when I was sitting in the back, um, maybe five years after I joined, I lost, I didn't lose them. The job went away, my job. And I had two, I had three kids, you know? So um, I talk, always talk to him, you know? Because that's the way he is, you know? He's like a father figure. He's a counselor, you know? He, he could be a brother. And, and, and probably the best friend I got, you know what I'm saying? Because. That's the way it is. So I talked to him. And he said, don't even worry about it. You know, he said, don't. Mm. He ain't known me but for a few years, you know. So we always had evening service. And uh, that evening, after he got done doing right before the benediction, he said, uh, call me up. Call me and my family up. He said, uh, the Calvin family come up. And, he, and what he said then, through this, I get a little choked up, so, so my voice get a little high and squeaky, I'm telling you what's going on, 
So he calls us up and he said, listen, Brother Callender just, his job went away. He said, we are too big of a church to let this man, let his, not let his wants be taken care of. The man ain't saying nothing but need. He said his wants. I'm like, man, you know that, <laughs> that right back there. And, and as I was sitting up there to, to my wife, I was crying and whatnot. And I said, forever. And that's my man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Happy, yeah. happy anniversary, Pastor. Yeah. Yeah. 
is to heal the land. Amen. 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 My job, my task is to introduce our preacher for this evening who is no stranger to us here at Hope. And one who I can say in my life has been a major example. Um, I can always remember hearing my pastor. He would say, Sam, it would do you well to take a page out of Pastor William's book. And um, he's such an example. I can remember a lot of times people see Pastor Williams and had a gracious opportunity of going to the minister's conference. And, and even before that, every time I would see Pastor Williams, they would come to me and say, Sam, so how you doing, Pastor? He said, Sam, a preacher ought to have money always in his pocket. <laughs> and I would say, I would laugh, but then Pastor would reach in his pocket and put some money in my pocket every time. And as I look back and I just thank God for him and the example that he showed me that it is blessed and it is better to give than to receive. So I would like to introduce to some and present to others none other than Pastor John W. Williams, hearing him as he comes. I, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continuously to be in my mouth how good the Lord is. <clears throat> Again, we thank God be able to be here tonight <clears throat> and to share with our brother, Dr. Jesse Blackburn, in his 38th anniversary. Yeah. So our pastor all the time say, whatever you do, don't mess up on the pastor's anniversary. And Dr. Blackburn is a great leader, great teacher, and a great pastor. Lord has blessed him with some faithful <clears throat> and dedicated members that we are grateful and thankful for that. Reverend Groom, Pastor Groom, Dr. Terrell, and Reverend Lee, Reverend Madison, and all of these other pastors and ministers that are here. Another blessing that the Lord has blessed us with. Tonight is a good night, and uh, I see where Pastor Jackson has been here, Pastor Lee, and um, I should have been first, <laughs> um, but since he put me last here, <clears throat> I'm just glad to be in the midst. Yeah. As someone as someone said, you can't beat God giving. And I'm a living witness that the more you give, the more the Lord gives to you. Thank Reverend Sam. And uh, if you said today, uh, I think our president, Dr. Brown, said to young preachers, stick close to your pastor. <clears throat> and Reverend Sam is sticking close to his pastor. And, uh, and when God get ready to place him, he'll do that. All they have to do is to continue to remain faithful and obedient. Listen, uh, let us unload, and then I'm going to preach for about 15 minutes, and we'll be ready to go. It looks like Reverend Blackburn trying to freeze us out tonight. No wonder. <clears throat> Reverend Terrell said he pulled off his 100% draws. I got mine on because I knew where I, was <laughs> where I was coming to. Yeah, all right. Listen, come on, brother officers, and help us tonight. Help us tonight. Um, Sister Rob. Uh, Hayes write that check for fifteen hundred dollars, and uh, I got fifteen hundred dollars from Luzan, and five hundred dollars for me. And uh, Doctor Doctor Dre.
in a group <laughs> report tonight. Ten for Sister Wilson in a group tonight. Group one. All right. Thank God for the groups. Thank God for the group. All right, Brother Jimmy. What a blessing, what a blessing. It's a blessing when men and women love to give and excited about giving. And uh, here is 400, four, four, I think it's thirty-eight ninety-five, but I think it's four thousand dollars in there. If not, let me know. Um, I want to talk tonight. God bless it. God, we thank you now for this offering. We thank you for the attitude of these our people. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want to talk tonight <coughs> briefly and quickly. <coughs> From second, from the second Timothy, <clears throat> second Timothy, fourth chapter, verses one through four. <clears throat> second Timothy, chapter four, verses one through four. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at all and his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts, that they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned under fables. I want to talk tonight about charge to preach. A charge to preach. Our choir is going to give us two selections, then we're going to bring the word.
give me the patience that I need to hold out until that change of mind till it comes. My way may not be easy. You did not say that it would be when it got dark. I couldn't find my way. You told me I could put my trust in thee. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. Valley's getting low, Lord. Until my way may not be easy. You did not say that it would be. When it got dark, I couldn't find my way. You told me I could put my trust in thee. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord, Lord. Valley's getting low, Lord. Help me, help me, can you help me? Until the change of mind till it come. This morning, got out of my bed. I looked around, and this is what I said. Thank you, Lord, for another day. All these blessings you uh, sent my way. I could have been dead, 
sleeping in my grave. But you sat back and told that he had only another blessing. Ooh, another blessing. Oh, another blessing. Ooh, another blessing. Oh, woke up this morning, got out of my bed. I looked around, and this is what I said. Thank you, Lord, for another day. All these blessings you uh, sent my way. I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave. But you sat back and told death, behave, another blessing. Ooh, another blessing. Ooh, another blessing. Ooh, another blessing. Oh, I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed. Big gift for bread. I can count on God. He won't never die. He always do just what he said. Pain and suffering, he brought me through. Eyes wide open to welcome you. I've been blessed so many ways. I just lift my hands and give him the praise. Oh, we. Another blessing, ooh another blessing, oh, ooh another blessing, ooh another blessing, ah, I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread, I can count on God, he won't let me down, he always do just what he said. Pain and suffering, he brought me through. I'm wide open to welcome you. I've been blessed so many ways. I just lift my hands to give him the praise. Ooh, another blessing. Ooh, another blessing. Ooh, we another blessing. Ooh, we another blessing. I got legs and I can walk, y'all. I got a tongue, y'all. I can talk. Even me, even me, even me, even me. Thank God, another blessing. Thank God, another blessing. Thank God, another blessing. Thank God, another blessing. Ah, oh, another blessing. Another blessing. Another blessing. Another blessing. Has a black bird. God has kept you. That's another blessing. Another blessing. Anybody here tonight, thank God for another blessing. Anybody here tonight, thank God for another blessing. You got legs that you can walk. You got a tongue, y'all. You can talk. You got hands that you can clap. It's another blessing. Another blessing. Another blessing. Another blessing. Another blessing, another blessing. Thank God, another blessing. We got so many reasons to tell God thank you. So many reasons to tell God thank you. He been a good God. He been a mighty God. He been a loving God. Thank God, thank God, another blessing. Another blessing, another blessing. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Another blessing, another blessing, 
another blessing. Yeah. you tonight. <clears throat> God bless you tonight. A charge to keep. You go down quiet. A charge <clears throat> to keep. Our world tonight is in that need. men and women that don't mind proclaiming the word of God. We need men that's not afraid to tell the truth. Not afraid to be criticized. Whenever you tell the truth, you can get ready for negative criticism. Galatians 4 <clears throat> and 16 says, Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? God's leader is not discouraged by adversity. It comes along with the territory. Dr. Blackburn is a brave preacher, teacher. And a prophet of God is to say only what God tells him to say. We can get in trouble <clears throat> by adding or subtracting from God's word. The re 
reason Dr. Blackburn preached is simply because God has called him <clears throat> and he can't help but to preach. The gospel of Jesus Christ in an unfriendly world will upset people. I first start preaching almost some 45 years ago. I wanted to please everybody. <laughs> I wanted everybody to speak well of me, but I learned uh, in a few years that they all didn't like Jesus. If you're here tonight and nobody hates you, nobody ever say nothing negative about you, evidently you're not doing anything worthwhile. Jesus, from the time that he was born until he died, he was faced with opposition. Is that right? Those that he came to deliver, to help, and to get them out of their bondage. The Bible says they all forsook him and fled. Isn't that right? The gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news. And for 38 years, Dr. Blackburn has been standing here spreading good news. The gospel of Jesus Christ will set you free or make you free. The gospel of Jesus Christ will change a man's heart and his direction. Somebody here tonight was headed in the wrong direction, but Dr. Blackburn has preached the word. And what I like about the word of God, it would either drive you or either draw you. Isn't that so? Jesus Christ was, in other words, Jesus Christ was needed in order to change our world. <coughs> Nobody else could do it. Abraham and Moses and all of them other fellows were not able to save men or deliver men from that bondage. Jesus had to leave heaven and come all the way down through 42 generations and got off in a little town called Bethlehem and went out on a hill called Calvary to die for you and me. I don't know about you tonight, but I'm glad that Jesus himself the died and decided to do it for us. The gospel of Jesus Christ will make you happy. Isn't that so? There are, there are wars and rumors of wars. Abuse of little baby. In Houston, Texas, a few weeks ago, a young man at 18 years of age <clears throat> walked into a school and, and took little innocent baby's life. A young man drove over 200 miles from here, was able to keep his car between the two white lines. He was able to Google Tops grocery store. 
you know, so. He was, he was able to arm himself and get out and start shooting. Now, we can call it what we want. But, but the problem is that he was sin sick. And when sin is in your life, when sin is in your life, it'll make you do some things. Lord, help me today. Uh, that's ungodly. Isn't that so? Well, a man, a man in Tesla, uh, Oklahoma, uh, had an operation and was angry with the doctors because he had some pain. Can I tell you, when you get over 40 years old, you're going to have some pain. Every, every age and level. Isn't that so? I had some pain when I was 40, 50, 60, and I, I discovered that there were some more pains that I didn't know nothing about until I reached 78. Isn't that so? Ain't no use of me getting angry with the doctor or anybody else that comes with life. I wish I had some help here tonight. We got to learn how to pray and ask God to help us to deal with our problems. Yeah, man that is born of a woman is of a few days, but full of trouble. Isn't that right? So babies are being taken advantage of Wars on every hand. Our senior citizens are being taken advantage of. It's not more laws that we need. There's enough laws already on our books. We just need to enforce them. My brothers and sisters, if each one of us if every man, woman, boy, and girl will love each other, we could go home tonight and we'd have to lock our cars. We'd have to lock our doors, but because men and women have hatred in their hearts, they're mad everywhere. Well, Paul. In our text tonight, he says to young Timothy, preach the word. This is, this is no doubt Paul's farewell charge to son Timothy. In other words, Paul knew that he would not be around much longer. Can't you hear him saying, I charge thee Therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and uh, the dead. And uh, he says to young Timothy, I want you to understand uh, your responsibility. In other words, I'm charging you to preach the word. In other words, be instant uh, in season. <clears throat> Out of season, reprove, rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering. Not only that, but doctoring. Paul says, yeah, for the time will come. The time will come when uh, they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having it in ears. And they shall turn away from the truth and shall be turned unto favors. But I hear him saying, 
to young Timothy, but watch thou in all things endure the affliction, the work of any vanities. Make full proof of uh, thy ministry. Paul knew that uh, the time of his execution was almost approaching. And now he was, he was not sure if he would ever see Timothy again. Paul was not sure if he would ever have the opportunity <laughs> to write him another letter. Paul urged Timothy to keep his mind on the day of the Lord appearing and also to preach Jesus Christ. Paul says to young Timothy, for the time will come. Oh yeah, evidently, evidently Paul saw a day like the day <coughs> in which we live. Paul says the time will come when uh, men will not endure sound doctrine. Do you not know that people all over our land, they're saying that they are afraid uh, of the virus. But the same people, the same people, Dr. Blackburn, that New Zion, Eastern Star, and Memorial, that are afraid to come out, I see them at Kmart. I see them at funeral, sitting on top of one another. But yet they fred to come out. But I want to tell you tonight, the God that I serve is able to keep you. Not only, not only in the church, but God is able to keep you at all times. So I hear Paul saying to young Timothy, uh, for the time will come when uh, men would not endure sound doctrine. But uh, after, after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having it in ears. And they shall turn away thy ears from the truth and shall be turned on the favors. And now we're living in a time where false teachers are everywhere. The preacher has been commanded by God to preach. Thank God, thank God for Dr. Blackburn that uh, is not majoring in his minor, but minoring, yeah. Yes, he's preaching and majoring in his calling. God, God did not call us uh, to be politicians. No, no, he did not call us uh, to be lawyers and doctors. But he called us uh, to be preachers. And uh, to be preachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Go ahead in his head. Yeah, the preacher has been commanded uh, to tell a dying world that uh, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah, the church. Uh, is not what it used to be. Do y'all hear me tonight? No, no, the church is not what uh, it used to be. Because uh, when that old deacon was saying, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. Mm, there'll be clapping of hand and shouting all over the place. 
The church is not what it used to be because people will get happy because of other testimonies. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you that God has given you a good preacher. And uh, you stood here for 38 years and preached the gospel. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of noise in our church today. But the noise we make uh, today yeah, is different from the noise uh, of yesteryear. We don't sing songs like we used to sing. No, we don't sing, Jesus, keep me near the cross. No, we don't sing songs, what a friend we have in Jesus. And song shine on me for heaven. And those songs carry the storm. They had meaning and they motivated me and, and women to live what they sung about. Our preaching and teaching is different today. Yeah, the old preacher confronted sin. But uh, it seemed to me that we today are afraid to deal with sin. But uh, there is no little sin and big sin. <laughs> No, sin is just sin. Sin is going contrary to God's will. Sin is ugly and detrimental. Sin costs you more than you want to pay. Sin holds you longer than you want to stay. And sin takes you farther than you want to go. Yeah, you just wanted to one night with the frog. One night, one more night of party. But somebody will tell you tonight, one drink and one puff of sin. Yeah, will hold you longer than you want to stay. I'm going to close right here. But all I'm saying, thank God tonight for God, man. And thank God that he's not afraid to tell you what God said. No. And I'm going to lead you tonight by saying, preach the word when they don't want to hear it. Preach the word when they want to hear it. Oh, no. Preach the word and be instant in season and out of season. I come to tell you that God's eyes is on you. And uh, if you preach the word, uh, God uh, will continue to bless you. Do I have and, uh, I got the clothes here, but all I'm saying uh, that God will. Anybody help me tonight? Uh, God word uh, is all you need. Mm, uh, don't worry about uh, the crowd going with it. But uh, wherever he leads you, just follow. Go ahead and uh, oh, will y'all hear me tonight? I'm glad to tell you there is a man called Jesus. 
Ask your neighbor, have you heard about it? Jesus, maybe baby. Mm -hmm. Jesus, God's only son. Yes, Jesus is on the main line. All you have to do is call him up. Tell him what you want. I'm glad to tell you I love the Lord. He heard my cry and pitied my every groan. Ain't the Lord all right? Say yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Jesus went out on a hill. Oh, Calvary, they hung him high and stretched him wide. Let me say he died. He died in my stead. He died in your stead. But the grave couldn't hold him. The fire couldn't burn him. Water couldn't drown him. But early, 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 early. Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. God bless you tonight. A charge to keep I have. For God to glorify. I've got a mind to live for Jesus all of my days. The doors of the church is open. I've got a mind to live for Jesus all of my days. Oh, yeah. I've got an order to win this fight. I've got to give God all that is right. that goes just beyond to the pastor a charge to his people to share the gospel wherever we go we thank God for Dr. Williams tonight and we want to prepare our hearts to be a blessing to him so I ask all of, all of you who can and will to get your best seat in your hand we might be a blessing to the man of God who is certainly worthy to receive double honor amen thank God that he has strengthened Dr. Williams to stand tonight and proclaim his word. Get your best gift in your hand. Once you have your offering, let's all stand to our feet all, all over the building. I'm going to place you in the hands of the ushers who will give you your instructions. Come on around.
I've got a mind to live for Jesus all of my days. Oh, mountains get high, but I live for Jesus. My valley's getting low, but I live for Jesus. My way is dark, but I live for Jesus all of my days. Oh, yeah. You can't stop me. You might as well have joined me. You can't stop me. You might as well join me. all had an opportunity to give. Let's pray, God, we thank you for these gifts. We thank you for the man of God who has stood tonight and declared your word. God, we pray and ask that you bless him now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Give him back everything that he has given tonight. Give his body strength and heal him in the name of Jesus. Give increase to these gifts, 10, 20, 30, 100 fold. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. At this time, we're going to have presentations and gifts of love, after which we'll have a march. Sister Blackburn, I would like to thank you for not being selfish, for being so selfish, and for teaching me so much. You have never held back. If I ask you a question, if I want to know something, you're going to tell me how to do it. And so often, people don't want you to know how they got where they are, how they've been accomplished, but you are not afraid to share that with me, and I thank you today. Thank you so much. And so we have a presentation from our young people, and we hope that you both enjoy. Praise God for whom our blessings go. We want to bring you greetings from uh, from Sister Harris from the Sunday School Department. 
We just thank God for you, Pastor and First Lady. We love you, and we ask that God would continue to bless you and take you higher, higher in your ministry. We love you with all of our heart and with all of our soul, and you continue to be in our prayers. Thank you again, and we praise God for the 38 years you've been here at the Greater Hope Baptist Church. There's nobody like you. Happy anniversary, Pastor and Sister Blackburn. Uh, the scripture tells us that we should um, make it a joyful experience for you to be able to labor over the word of God. And we hope that we can do that uh, with your youth department and all your staff as well. So thank you. We love you. And happy 38th anniversary. Hey, Pastor. I just wanted to say congratulations on your 38th pastoral anniversary. Thank you for all that you've done. Um, you've invested in my life greatly, and I truly appreciate you. I wish you the best, and I hope you know that your work is not in vain. Congratulations, Pastor, and I'm Barbara. Oh, I'm 38 years at Greater Hope. I appreciate you both, and thank you for encouraging me and the rest of the Sunday school classes to read the Bible from beginning to end and study God's word all the time. Pastor, this year we had our youth candy question about things they think you may enjoy, um, reasons they believe you encourage us to do certain things, and we hope that you enjoy this presentation as it is from our heart. We love you. I think Pastor's favorite subject was English because he likes to read and talk. I think Pastor's biggest strength is motivating people. Jeremiah, what do you think was Pastor's favorite thing to do growing up? Spreading the word of God. Maronique, what kind of friends do you think Sister Blackburn hung out with when she was your age? Good influencers. What I think Pastor wants us to know about God is He's Almighty. Pastor loves His church family. He wants them to be a better person every day, and He loves them and He wants them to grow. I think Pastor wants people to know that God loves them and He cares about them, and God wants them to do better every day. I think Pastor Blackburn eats avocados for lunch. Sister Blackburn's favorite color is black. I think Pastor's favorite color is blue. Happy anniversary, Pastor and Sister Blackburn. Happy anniversary, Pastor and Sister Blackburn. Happy anniversary. We love you both. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Pastor. Happy Happy anniversary, Pastor. You're the best pastor and love Pastor. God bless you. God bless you. What a beautiful, beautiful from the Sunday School Department. Certainly, we thank God for Sister Blackburn. Dr. Blackburn and Sister Blackburn has been married over 50 some years. The Lord has blessed them with many good children and church family, and that's a blessing. Shall we stand now? Shall we stand all over the building, if you will? Let's receive our pastor, Dr. J.C. Blackburn. church say amen. amen 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 thank you all for thank you all for a wonderful anniversary amen amen yeah. I thank the Lord for allowing us to be able to uh, celebrate one more year first I thank the Lord for my wonderful wife for 
54 years. I dated her for two years at 56. Amen. Fell in love with her three a year before that. That was made it 57. Amen. We moved from Buffalo to Lackawanna. And the first thing I saw was honey. Oh Lord. She said I kind of got it kind of crossed up what she had on, but uh, <laughs> Amen. That was then and I my you know and my eyes been locked in on her for all these years and she's been taking good care of me. Amen. I, I almost don't want to get well. <laughs> She's been doing such a good job. Amen, 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 amen. But look like she, she's releasing me little by little. <laughs> and she had me under uh, tight controls and and uh, brother come to town and brother come, you know, and so brother came in one time and I was about three weeks ago and uh, uh, I would sneak out the <laughs> I would sneak out the house <laughs> and I just always just been in in uh, uh, like a relaxed clothes all the time because I was going through surgery and everything and so I know brother gonna be dressed you know we're gonna go eat somewhere so I reached a sneak and got a and got a sport coat, yo, and go put it all out the door. And honey stuck around. She said, oh, the goose is loose. <laughs> I had to stop there and laugh because <laughs> the goose was loose. And uh, um, I think everybody ought to have a brother like John Williams. Give him a big hand. He and Wanda and Yo have been a part of our life for long before we started preaching. We didn't know we were going to preach. Amen. We, we were around the preacher so much that it was natural that we did preach, but it was also supernatural because God called us into this ministry, and I'm, I'm glad about it. And I'm not afraid to tell anybody, groom, I said, take a page out of John Wynn's book. Or to have somebody in your life that can model before you what you need. You don't need no friend going to make you curse. If they curse, you kind of just back away from them a little bit. Because after a while, you're going to be cursing. Amen. Amen. And, and help me, somebody. Some people can do something, they look like they're getting away from it, but they, you think they're getting away, they're not getting away. God got a long horn. He knows how to get you. So he'll wait way down, you can wait down the road, and God will reel you in. Thank God for Reverend Trill. Give Reverend Trill a big hand. Trill, one of the most faithful preachers, giving. Giving, 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 giving. And we can't wait to be with him in October. Amen. 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 He's faithful like that all year long. Amen. Amen. I've been blessed with a, a wonderful church and everything. And uh, Pastor Jackson, stand up, Pastor Jackson back there. He, and uh, he and I are study buddies. <laughs> and uh, we've been disconnected a little bit because... I've been going through surgery, and he hasn't felt the best a couple of times, but we're going to overcome and get back together. And uh, groom, we meet every Thursday we get together. And if you want to come, just come on in, you know. And uh, we've been having a blessed time down the, through the months we've been working together. Amen? Get Sister Robinson. Sister Robinson, stand up. Sister Robinson, and, uh, and uh, give her a big hand. Amen? Faithful. And... Uh, Came back with us, but, but she's always with us. She, she's she's faithful. Her tithes, her offering. Every week she sends. Every week she gives seven. She gives seven dollars every week for her pastor. Every week she's been doing it for years. And even though you may not see Ella Robinson around here, she's faithful. Amen. We thank God for her. And she produced a faithful son, Reverend Eddie. Give Eddie a big hand. Amen. 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 
Hey man, Eddie does a fantastic job. Eddie, Eddie can make that that little keyboard he got. You think he got horns and drums? Eddie can get it all right out of there. <laughs> and uh, we thank God for Eddie and uh, uh, Kobe was here and uh, Carl, and thank God for our whole team that we had. Amen. Amen. And thank God for the men of Greater Hope and uh, those men that are here tonight. Stand up, that are here now. Brother Sims is back on the door. Friday, Anthony, Jake. Vern did a fantastic job, and Jimmy's around here somewhere, and uh, uh, and Reverend Sam, and David and Reverend Sam, give them all a big hand. Amen. Amen, amen. And special days stand up, all special days stand up, that are special days, amen. And, uh, Sheila's not here with us tonight, and uh, these women have been faithful down through the years, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And uh, uh, Lucy Mott at uh, uh, Men Stand Up For Your Mother. Amen, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Lucy and them started special days at New Zion, and uh, they picked up at Eastern Star. And then Sister Haggis said, Pastor, we want to have special days. And I said, all I want, listen, I don't, it's not mandatory, nothing's mandatory. I said, you know, nothing's mandatory. Greater Hope is not a have-to church, amen. New Zion is not a have, Memorial is not a have-to church. And I teach you that you should. I teach that if you give, God will give back to you, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. A whole lot of people fail to realize what they miss out on when they don't take the resources that God had given them and invested in God's work. Listen, this, none of us heard Dr. Uh, Billy Graham say this morning, Billy Graham said, and I listen to him every day because he's on FM radio, so I, you ought to have, you got to have somebody you're going to listen to that's going to talk good talk. All these other fellas, out, a whole lot of fellas out there, on, I don't have no time to listen to them because they don't want to talk about the cross, they don't want to talk about Jesus, they don't want to talk about suffering, they don't want to talk about sin, they don't want to talk about the goodness of God. Billy Graham said, all of us got a death sentence on all of us. And you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know when it's going to happen. And Brother handled that so well tonight when he talked about what happened in Tops, what, he handled, what happened in Texas. He handled it so well in them that God let that young man get on the highway, stay between the lines. God let him do all of that. God could have knocked him off any, and you got to always remember that, God could have knocked him off course anywhere along the line. God suffered it to be so. And none of us know what's going to take us out of here. But we know we can't stay here. And a whole lot of us stacking up stuff. And the writer of Ecclesiastes said, you're going to leave it to somebody you don't even know who's going to fall to. When you have a chance to bless your pastor, bless the church, sin, you could, you, Jesus told a rich man, said, listen, Sell what you have, give it to the poor, come follow me, and you're going to have treasure in heaven. But how am I going to live? Don't you worry about how you're going to live, just follow me. And the members in this church know in 38 years, they know where God has brought them. Amen, 38 years. Vern said it, 38 years. Vern, and Vern could talk... Vern can talk to me, Vern in a minute can talk about me. I don't know why he let them stress him out. He can just do the, and I said, Vern, you don't have, the Bible's in Vern, you can just stand up and just talk. Just stand up and talk. He's been with me right there at the radio station every week. He's been with me all those days, him and Vern, him and Stone. And uh, uh, no, God is, God is good. God is good, and God has blessed me 38 years. Here at Great Hope Baptist Church. My sister's in here. Penny, Penny, Penny came back saying one more time. I guess <laughs> Elaine, Elaine saw Penny, so she's gonna, she gonna do it one more time. My sister stand up. Penny stand up. Rochelle, Mary, raise your hand. Karen, Audrey. Audrey. All right. And and Sandra. Sandra's back there. I I, I came another day and said, I said, and I said, I looked at that's and I looked at all of us, I said, Sandra, would, would you, 
I just, everybody just spoke to me except Sandra. She said she had to make the pass out candy doing something, but, but that's my sister. It's, it's, I'm the oldest than Sandra. And then Aunt Frances, Aunt Frances. <laughs> Mother Brown, Mother Brown. Mother, give a hand for Mother Brown. Amen, amen. Reverend Hawkins was, was retiring from St. Paul, and he told Aunt Frances, you go on over there and be with your nephew. And she told her that, and that's why she came. And I've been praying for Aunt Frances because she did so much at St. Paul, and she's faithful right here at Greater Hope. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, listen, I don't know how she blessed Pastor Hawkins, but she's been blessing me every time, every week in the anniversary, uh, all week long, all year long. <laughs> Amen. So, but and watch this here. Somehow or another, when you give, God gives to you. If you if you ever learn that, you you'll be blessed. Amen. All right, listen. Now, now we're here, we're here on Monday night because brother needed the night. Amen. Amen. Brother, wanna know why I put him last, Terrell? He, 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 where, where you where you gonna put him at your anniversary? Where's he gonna be, Terrell? He gonna close it up. <laughs> 